Hello. I am making another coffee filter flower. I was gonna, it's almost Valentine's Day. I was gonna do a red one, but I decided I just want, maybe I'm hurrying up spring. I just want some spring colors. So I just took some simple acrylic paint that I got at uh, Walmart and I added some water to my bowls and I added just a few drops. You can just put in maybe a half a teaspoon per bowl. I, this one I want to make kind of a little bit darker, so I'm going to add a little bit more. You can just kind of play with it and see. And kind of, you could use food coloring. And then I have some, uh, this is essential oil. And I am going to take, I don't have a dropper for this essential oil bottle, so I'm going to add some essential oil. I want these flowers to smell good. I'm going to add five drops to each one. Why these are drying it is going to make whatever room you have them in smell very nice. So I have my acrylic paint, our food coloring. I have um, about 40 or so coffee filters and I'm going to take, I don't know, just a, a, there's maybe 10 there maybe, I'm going to put them out, I'm going to soak them in my water, kind of test and see what color they come out, if I like that color and I want that a little darker I can see because that's just kind of looking dirty. So I'm going to add some more to this, and it smells nice and lavender-y. Mix it up. Kind of perfect. Okay, and just kind of wring them out. Let them dry, and it's okay for other colors to get there, that, that I kind of want. Kind of mix it. So there's that one. And then um, I'm just going to show you part of this and, and then you can go ahead and do yours. Now I have the aqua color, which I love these two colors together. Just kind of throw them in. These colors are going to look nice together. Oh yeah, it's drying very nice. I can't remember if it's going to dry lighter than than this or darker. I think it's going to dry lighter. Yeah, I like this color. Look at that. Look at that. Can you see how pretty that color is? Just going to wring it out and go ahead and do all of your petals. And we're going to hang them up to dry somewhere. Okay. I'm going to finish showing you. I let my coffee filters dry on my table all night. It just took all night. I kept on moving them around so they dry fast. And I've already folded all my aqua colors and all my purple colors. I have maybe 44 coffee filters. You can use less or more. And I saved one to show you how I fold them. I take and I fold it once. And then I'll fold it again. I'm just going to keep folding it over. So there's one, two, three, and four. And you will end up with a nice thin piece. And depending on what kind of petal you want to make, you could jagged it, cut it off and jagged. You could do all kinds of things. I'm just making a soft round petal. So just cut that end tip off. And then I took and I took one of my nanny's big needles she had and I took and threaded some yarn and I'm just going to start poking these through. I will continue doing this and I will show you it when I get them all on here. Okay, I got all of my petals stringed on here and I have the ends and I'm just going to take and tie my ends nice and tight. Careful you don't break your string whatever you're using but it can pull pretty tight depending on how you're going to hang it. 
will depend on what you do at that point. So now I have a pom-pom and now I'm just going to go through the process of pulling out my pocket builders. So just take each one and pull them out. Kind of unravel them. Don't pull on them too hard. So I'll keep going through here pulling these out and I'll show you what I have when I get done. It's going to be really cute. I love making things. Okay. This looks like a hydrangea. I love it. I'm going to call it my hydrangea. You could put it on a, a straight stick coming out of the bottom and stick it in a, a container. My lighting is really yellow. It doesn't even show how pretty it is. Um, I'll try to go to another part of the house and show you. I'll be right back. I don't know. This is a little bit better lighting. So you can see it's all I pulled out all the I can play with it a little bit more and when you're putting them on the needle make sure you put them in the same spot on all of them otherwise you'll get some long petals I think I I don't know if I have anything like that so this is I will call my hydrangea and I'll put it on a long stem maybe or you could just turn it upside down and hang it it's a little gift my daughter, she loves all these paper flowers and fabric flowers I make. So, that was an easy one. Coffee filters, cheap. This would be a cute decoration. I have one with tissue paper. I need to get that one up too. Okay, have a good day. Bye-bye.